So today I'm going to show you how to install TensorFlow GPU in under five minutes. It's really straightforward and we're going to use Anaconda to do it. I'm going to show you how to create a new environment inside of Anaconda, how to install a new kernel to that environment, and then we're going to use Jupyter Notebook to verify that our GPU is connected and working properly and that we can build and train a neural network. Let's have a look. So as I said, you obviously need Anaconda. If you don't have it, I recommend you use it. Uh, it's one of the best distributions for Python at the minute, especially machine learning stuff. Um, I leave a link to this below. Go download the 3.7 version and then come back to this video. So once you've downloaded it, if it is your first time using it, you're going to need to run Anaconda Navigator first because it does some con configuration stuff, but then close that and we're going to be using the Anaconda prompt. I've already got the prompt uh, pinned to my taskbar, so uh, I'm going to just open that. First thing we want to do is create a new environment. Now, if you don't understand environments, I've created another video here where I explain everything. I'm not going to go too in-depth in this video because we're focusing on TensorFlow, but I do recommend you check that out first. Uh, so what we want to do is create a new environment. Conda create, and we're going to call it uh, GPU test just for this tutorial followed by the version of Python that we want the environment to have 3.7 in this case so that'll ask you if you want to install a bunch of stuff you want to hit yes this can take a while depending on whether you have to download things or not but it's usually pretty quick uh, there we go so now we want to activate that environment this tells the um, prompt that anything we execute is done inside that environment so we want to conda activate and our name was gpu test if you're using a mac i believe you need to do um source activate instead you might want to look that up but it's, it's relatively similar uh now that we've created the environment we need to install a kernel to the environment and this is the really important part so first we need to pip install ipy kernel and this is just basically the tool that allows us to do that. Okay, so once that's done we now need to install the kernel and we can do this with the following command python minus m and we're going to use ipy kernel make sure your spelling's right because it's a long command uh, install dash dash user dash dash name and this is where we give it the environment name, so GPU test. And we've also got to give it a display name. I recommend keeping this the same to avoid any confusion down the road. Hit enter, that should install the kernel. There we go, install kernel spec GPU test. Awesome. So the next uh, the next big step is to install Conda, uh, is to Conda install TensorFlow GPU. So we can do that. That should install everything we need to run TensorFlow GPU. This one can take a while. There's a lot that it needs to install. Again, just hit yes. But uh, I'll skip ahead of the video so you don't have to wait. Okay, so that's TensorFlow GPU installed. Now what I'm going to do is conda install Jupyter because we're going to be using Jupyter Notebook to do this. I, reckon, I recommend you do the same just to check that your GPU is working. So I'm also going to be using Keras, so I'm going to pip install Keras. It's important to pip install Keras here because um, if you try and conda install it, it will downgrade your TensorFlow GPU. And that can cause issues which a lot of people I think run into. So pip install Keras. Once we've done that, we want to launch Jupyter Notebook. That should open up in a browser and it'll be like a, essentially launches a server. So we'll go back here, we'll drag this over. So what I've done is created a Jupyter notebook that contains a GPU detection test and a basic LSTM neural net so we can try and train it. So I'll put a link to all these files in the description below so you can go download them. And then what you wanna do is drag the whole folder into your uh, Jupyter directory. So when you open Jupyter notebook, you'll be greeted with a directory like this. You will wanna go into Anaconda 3 M's GPU test and basically you want to drop the file anywhere in here. Now you're going to have to do it from 
the Windows Explorer obviously so again you just want to locate the same directory paste the file anywhere in here like I've already done it so they're already in there then come back to Jupyter Notebook and you should just be able to open that notebook inside of the server so if I kernel restart and clear output that'll completely clear all the cells and first thing we want to check is in the top right is that we're using the correct kernel and this is where a lot of people go wrong so basically why we had to install ipy kernel and install a kernel it used to be that conda would default install a new kernel when you created an environment it doesn't do that anymore so a lot of people try and install tensorflow gpu without installing a kernel so what they end up doing is trying to run a tensorflow gpu code with a kernel that doesn't know about tensorflow gpu so because that kernel is for a different environment so to make sh if you want to switch kernels if you don't have the right one here you want to click kernel change kernel and you'll see all your available kernels there make sure you select the one that we created previously in my case gpu test now we're using the right kernel we can hit shift enter and we can execute cells but first i want to show you this tool so this is asus gpu tweak and it basically shows us our gpu utilization in terms of clock speed and temperature and as you can see at the minute it's basically idling it's not being used so if we hit shift enter on our first code cell we can see that we've successfully detected the gpu we're running tensorflow version 1.13 and we're using default gpu device zero and if you go back to anaconda prompt you should be able to see in here there we go so it's using device zero which is my geforce gtx 770 and i know i need to upgrade <laughs> it's getting old but basically uh if we go back now to jupyter notebook again you can you can see here we're idling again but it's just been used by tensorflow so now if we build this basic neural net underneath it's just an lstm network that's training on jokes that i created uh, i'll do a tutorial on it soon so subscribe if you're interested uh this is where we're going to fit the model so we're going to start training it so if we open this we can see that we're idling our gpu if I hit shift enter we should now see our neural net start to train and our gpu should start ramping up and there we go so we're now at full clock speed full memory clock speed and the temperature will start rising and that's basically it it's that simple i mean there's there's a lot that can go wrong if you don't know what you're doing but hopefully this tutorial has been really helpful to you and now you can start taking over the world with your neural nets so have fun with it uh, i hope i hope it's really helped you so before you go i just want to say thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate all the support if you found this video helpful please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel i'd really appreciate this since it helps my channel grow and i put a lot of effort into making these videos if you want to support me in other ways there's a link in the description below where you can do that but it's up to you that's about it from me. I hope you all have an awesome day. Take it easy.